I'm going to focus on the state of investment in Africa. Ghanaians who buy the houses, how do you find them? Uh, it's through a very well-known platform called Facebook. This is, let's call it the Guinean dream, for lack of a better term. Africa has the best case for research and advanced adaptation to climate change. And so the focus is going to be on financial capital. How much do you make? How much money do you invest? What's your financial return? How much is enough for you? I'm calling this a show me the money introduction. Show us the money. The Porambia has collectively raised over $300 million. If somebody comes to me as a potential investor, they better make sure that they know what I'm likely to do. I'm an investor, you have to meet my return expectations, right? This is the purpose of capital. There's absolutely no lack of talent on the continent. You know, VCs rely on pattern recognition, and so you're trying to replicate what you've seen happen before successfully. But our goal is to build cognition. Our goal is to build the cyborgs of the future. This is a resource for the whole of humanity, not just for Africa. You would think that, you know, we go and we kind of train judges and work in the courts or build a courtroom, but it's, it's not actually that. It's, it's more like social work in a way. It's, it's identifying community leaders who can be sort of mediators and then we support them. Uh, we call them community-based paralegals. Before you pitch anybody, you better really understand the person that you're, to whom you're speaking. I think that being prepared and doing your homework is, is really better than just shooting darts at a board. Found my way to Facebook. We are a company, uh, you know, 2010 was when I joined. It was a small ER startup. And now I'm the chief technology officer for the world's largest healthcare company in Johnson & Johnson. It means you have to get together with like-minded people who are in the struggle with you. How many here are investors? 